Hello students, this is Shubhrata Ghosh. Now we will be learning how Fisher's Ideal Index is computed. It is one of the important measure of weighted aggregative index. This measure was suggested by one great American economist named Irving Fisher. After his name, this index is known as Fisher's Ideal Index. Economist Fisher suggested that if we take the geometric mean of the Lapierre's price index and Passage's price index, that result will be the ideal index number. In our earlier classes, we have seen the calculation of Lapierre's index where we have used Bayesian quantity as the weight. Q0, Q0 is the Bayesian quantity. But passes suggested that current year current year's quantity should be the weight of the aggregate weight. Now which weight should be taken? Whether current year quantity according to passage price index or BCS quantity as the weight. Economist Fisher suggested that take both the quantity, BCR quantity as well as the current test quantity as weight. So he suggested that if we take the root of the product of Lapierre's price index and Passage's price index, that would be the ideal index number. That is why he has taken the product of the root of Lapierre's price index and Passage's price index. And Lapierre's price index was this summation Pn Q0 by summation P0 Q0 into 100. And Passage's price index was summation Pn Qn by summation P0 Qn into 100. Now, if we take the root of the product of, of this, it would be like this. This is Lapierre's into 100 and it is passes into 100. 100 into 100 root over, it will be only 100. Here, P0 is the price of the base year, Pn is the price of the current year, Q0 is the quantity of the base year and Qn is the quantity of the current year. Now we will see this by an example. This is our example. Sorry. 
This is my example. I have taken the same example to show you the difference between the different measures suggested by different economist or statistician. This is base year price, this is base year quantity, this is current year price, this is current year quantity. In Lapierre's method, we considered the base year quantity. In the passes method, we considered current year quantity. Here, we will take both the base year quantity as well as the current year quantity. Now, to solve this problem, we have to make a table. And I have I have made this table to save your time and to save your mobile data. This is the table. These two columns were used to compute the index number by Lapierre's method and these two columns were used to compare the index number by Passes method. Now we need all these four columns result to get the Fisher's quantity index. According to Lapierre's method, the price index was PNQ0 by P0Q0 into 100. It means 2070 by 1660 into 100. And in the passage case, it was 1340 by 1070 into 100. It means, now you see the table. This is summation of P0Q0. This is summation of PNQN, P sorry, PNQ0. This is summation of P0QN. This is summation of PNQN. Okay. As you know, Fisher's index is the root of the product of the Lapierre's index as well as the Passage's index. Now, if we apply the Lapierre's index, we will get this result. Lapierre's index. Okay. Now, if we Lapierre's index, the result result is 127.78 okay now the passage index was this summation p and q n by summation p 0 q n into 100 and p n q P and Q in was one one three four zero and P zero Q in was one zero seven zero in two hundred. It means it is passage index. It is Lapierre's index. Now we will take the 
root of the product of the pairs as well as passes index to calculate the index number by Fisher's method. This is Fisher's ideal index. This is not. This is the PS method. This is passage method. Okay. The PS result two zero seven. This the PS two zero seven zero by one six six zero into hundred. Two zero seven zero by one six six zero into hundred. And passes is. this now we will put the value of all the both the index it will be like this now you put and this is not This is what, and if we put this value, we will get one to seven point seven eight into one to five point two three. Okay, this is Lepius as index. This is passes by syntax. Now we put this value. If we multiply this you will get one six zero zero one point eight nine. Okay. Now put this value in the calculator. And after putting this value in the calculator, you will get one to six point five flux. In this way, you cal you can calculate the price index ok now this was the problem of finding features ideal index number ok and next step was putting all the values in the table and the final table was this ok now this is the Lapierre's plus index number ok now this is Passes press index number okay. now after putting the value of Lapierre's and passes index, we will get this value. The, in this way you can compute the Fisher's ideal index number. Hope you understood the method. Thank you for watching the video.